Hey guys, I wanted to do a short video on how to properly clock your outer barrel on an M4 AEG Airsoft rifle. Okay, so this is an Airsoft AEG. This has an upper receiver and an outer barrel. This happens to be a SEMA M4 full metal. Now it's not an expensive rifle, but it's pretty decent, I'd say for the money. But one thing I noticed is that the outer barrel is not properly indexed or clocked to the upper receiver. So you might be thinking, well, why does that really matter? Because the outer barrel is really just for show, right? It's the inner barrel and the hop-up chamber that is really important to uh, make your rifle accurate. And that is true. That is true. But the outer barrel does play a role. Okay, so if your outer barrel is not clocked properly that's gonna basically be two things, okay? Um, it might cause your front sight to be off-centered, okay, or slightly rotated, because the, the barrels are slightly rotated. Probably not a huge deal, right? Most of us are using other optics, I suppose, than iron sights. But more importantly, it's basically the way that the hop-up chamber itself is centered within the upper receiver. So with the way this is now, you can kind of see that these little tabs right here are not perfectly aligned or centered within this outer portion here. So this this ring right here is actually the outer barrel. And you might be able to see it a little bit better if we look down here on the top. So I have this receiver upside down right now, but you can kind of see the slot right here. And the slot is not perfectly centered within this slot within the receiver. Okay, so that means this outer barrel is rotated ever so slightly. And I need to rotate it back to center it. But how can we do that? Well, what you're going to need to do is that you're going to have to remove the barrel nut. Okay, so in order to do that, you're probably going to need one of these uh, wrenches to do that. Okay. I've already loosened this one, so I'm just going to take this off and kind of show you what's going on underneath. Okay, so this thread's on, and now we can remove our barrel nut, and we can slide our outer barrel. Okay, so this outer barrel is indexed to the upper receiver with this little pin right here. And this pin is threaded into the outer barrel. And that's what indexes this, and that's what keeps it from, from rotating left or right. Okay, but this is off, so this is not accurate. So I'm going to try to fix it. One thing I can do is that I can file this pin down a little bit on this side, on the left side. That should allow me to move or rotate this outer barrel just ever so slightly. Where I need it and then I'll probably have to shim this side so that it doesn't rotate back and forth. The other thing I can do is just file this upper receiver a little bit and I'll probably do that because I think that's going to be a little easier solution. Just take a flat file and file this a little bit away, create a little bit more space on this side. Again I'm going to have to shim this side though to get it perfectly aligned. So I'm going to take off this pin and I'm just going to show you what it should look like. Okay, now the pin has been removed. So that means I can insert this outer barrel into the receiver and I can rotate it as much as I need it. And let me show you what it should look like. So we can see the outer barrel now rotating, right? And I need it to be centered, so I need it to be about right there. Because I think currently, with the pin installed, it's there, but I need it rotated just a slightly counterclockwise, and I need it to be about right there. So why does that matter? Well, it matters because these slots right here within 
the outer barrel is what aligns and stabilizes your hop-up unit. So here's your hop-up chamber. This is a standard M4 hop-up chamber. And that slides into those grooves. So if this outer barrel is rotated, see what it's doing to the hop-up chamber? It's rotating it, right? So it's very important that the hop-up chamber itself is perfectly horizontal with the upper receiver and not rotated. If it's rotated, then that's going to throw off your shots. They're going to go left or right, regardless of what you're doing to your, your bucking. And I didn't really notice it with this until I tried to upgrade it with a G&G rotary style hop-up chamber. And then I really noticed that it was just off a little bit. So honestly, I never paid any attention to it. So ideally, again, we want that just to be nice and level. With the, and as I rotate this, see what's happening? So we want to get that clocked perfectly and indexed perfectly. And that should hopefully help stabilize that hop-up chamber and make it nice and level with the upper receiver. And um, I'm going to go ahead and make that modification and see how it does. Hey guys, so I went ahead and made the modification. So what I did was to take a small flat file and I just filed this edge right here so that I could rotate this barrel a little bit more clockwise and I just did a little bit at a time and then I would check it from underneath my index marks there and I do a little bit more and I did it probably three or four times until I got it where I thought it needed to be and because I removed material from this side, so then I had to shim the opposite side here, and I just used some clear plastic to do that. I like to save various plastic packaging like this because it typically comes in different thicknesses. So I kind of save it and I can use them as shim material. I suppose you could also use aluminum stock or aluminum sheet from even a soda can or something would work as well. So I got that where I need it. So let me go ahead and put the barrel nut back on at least by, let me hand tighten it. Get that threaded. Now for final assembly, you'd want to make sure that you Use your barrel nut wrench. But let me show you what it looks like now within a chamber area here. And I think you can tell now it's a little bit better centered where this little groove is or these little points, uh, the slots for the hop up chamber itself. So it does look better. I'm going to go ahead and just show you what it looks like with the stock hop-up chamber installed that goes in the slots so a very little amount of play so that has to do with these tabs on the sides that go into those slots in the outer barrel so that's actually a pretty good fit and we just want to make sure that this base right here is nice and flat and level with the upper receiver, so I think that looks pretty good. Probably as good as I can get it. And if we check it with the other G&G rotary hop-up chamber, hopefully we have similar results. So that slides in, and that looks pretty flat as well. So that looks pretty good. Now there's a little bit more slop and a little bit more play most likely because the tabs on this chamber are probably not as thick as the tabs on the other chamber. So there's a little bit more wobble and a little bit more play with this chamber, or with this hop-up unit in the outer barrel. So I suppose that could be another, another shimming modification that we can make for that. I don't think I'm going to worry about that right now, but uh, I think we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish with this video, and that was mainly just making sure that the outer barrel 
is properly indexed and clocked in the correct position to hopefully increase your accuracy. Thanks for watching.